to welcome everyone. It is six, um, 16, I suppose, on June 24th, 2024, on the Rochester Select Board um, meeting, which we have posted the agenda in three public places and on the website and emailed to interested parties. So um, conforming with the open meeting laws uh, up to this point, what the laws are. Um, I'm going to start with the um, prior meeting minutes of June 10th. We had a select board meeting, and that was pretty um, short and sweet. I'd move to approve those. So, second. Yep. Yeah. All in favor? All right. All right. All right. And then um, right um, before that meeting, we had a special select board informational meeting um, regarding... Recording in progress. Whoop. Yeah, now we're really button. recording. It's okay. okay. It's, all, it's recorded it's, on Arca, so that's what we're Okay, cool. And the, um, so we had just approved the minutes from the last select board meeting of June 10th, and also on June 10th we had a special informational meeting regarding the um, future of the high school building. And I would move to approve those minutes. I made one correction on page two. Yep, you see that? So I move to approve with the correction. A second. All in favor? All right. Aye. Aye. All right. Okay. I had a question about the recording of those uh, special select board informational. How does that automatically attach to the select board minutes for historical purposes? It's um, it's its own separate set of minutes. It's, it's, so, so if someone uh, did, was to research, it's a, it's they would a, have to they would, look they would, a different date for a different, I mean, into, if they go to the select board meeting minutes, would this pop up? Yes. Yeah. Automatically. Yep, yeah. it should be there. All right. Um, so um, the May Treasurer's report, Patrick said you looked look through that pretty, pretty thoroughly. Yes. Yeah. We need some consideration in our budget meetings in the future, but yep. All right. it's, it's accurate. Right? Yeah, accurate. Yeah. So I'd move to approve. Second. All in favor? Aye. All right. All right. Um, we have a um, request for uh, or a discussion around changing a, a road name um, up on um, what was um, the short um, Town Highway 4. Um, it was um, um, suggested by Angus McCusker, who's our E911 manage, map manager, um, to possibly rename that to Buttles Road so it would match what it um, buttles up to against in Granville. <laughs> um, but on our end, it was, um, it was Oak Lodge Road. And so what are, you, what are your thoughts on that? No, I went back and forth with Angus a little bit on yeah. it. Um, and uh, I, I agree with uh, naming it Buttles Road so that it is the same continuous road. In that way, it's until kind of it clear Oak there's Lodge. Oak Lodge Road until Buttles Road. Right, then because the Old Lock Ro Oak Lodge Road does continue straight uh, on to, remember, the, yeah, the yeah. property there, but it was purchased by a budding landowner, Massimino, yeah. so that road kind of is in limbo now. But, yeah. but Buttles Road works. that work for you, Frank? Fine with me. Yeah. yeah. All right. So, so who has to change up, we have, you know, all the addresses so, you know, your yeah. fire and rescue is going to be a nightmare. Angus, he's Ang doing that for 911 purposes. Yeah. yeah, that was who brought it all up. Yeah, that's going to be a nightmare to teach everybody. Well, there's how many properties on that section of road? Just like quite a few. Well, More than I think. Oh, there's just the two kids. Just One, that two. two. Three, three, that little section three, two. Four. Yeah. Five, six, it's seven, not all. Nine. It's not all of Oak Lodge. Though. Not all no, of Oak no, Lodge Road. It's just, no, just, just Oak Lodge Road. Oh, just from what, where you turn? Yeah. yeah. There's yeah. still probably eight houses out there. Right. Some of them are the Grand Bell. No. There's good. There's uh, where Floyd used to live. There's oh, no, one. this no, is, no, no, no. we're way beyond Further that. Further than that. Oh, way, way beyond right that. Right at the corner? At the, yeah. at the very oh, okay. end, yeah. The, There's like two kids. It's class four. Yeah, it yeah. 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 shouldn't okay. be a big deal, yeah. So, um... So basically there's none. So I guess we could um, I'd move as a select board to approve that name change. There's probably some more red tape we have to jump through with the state, or is that just through Angus? And the, it starts with Angus if anything else comes back at us. Yeah. All right. Well, 
I second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Follows vote it is, yeah. All right. Um, so the um, in our last um, um, budget session, we set um, the pay rates for the new fiscal year, which starts on July 1st. And um, we have them here in front of us that um, we all discussed. I think it was across the board, like a 5% increase. Is that what we did? Uh, three. Three. Oh, it should have been five, but it was three. OK. But next time, maybe. <laughs> yeah. A couple of them are not. Yeah, give it to We talked about having uh, Trevor Mears on here. He ain't going to be on there. Not for that money. Doesn't want to do it. Don't want to do it. Want to do it. Yeah, I think we're gonna. We need to have a discussion on this because we got the same problem, Cody. It's not worth it. All right. Well, let's um, prove for the ones that do want to keep on, and then we'll have to continue on with them. I haven't got any. I haven't got any. Well, this is what we got so far here. So let's move, prove this, and then we can move forward with what right. we have to do to get more help for the water sewer. So I move to approve this increase. I second it. No in favor? Aye. 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 So that brings us on to um, utility rate increase. Is that about um, ties right into what you're just talking about? The, the helpers not wanting to help for the amount of money we can give them. Well, I mean, you want to get called in the middle of the night or weekends, and you know, get backed up for the sewer. You know, we're going to give you 20 bucks an hour to come down and work on it. That's get a life. Yeah. You're not going to get anybody to do that. So if you want to do it, then we can start calling them in. You know, you call Hardigan or somebody like that, come down and deal with it, and you pay 200 bucks an hour. That's travel time both ways. I think probably what we should do is have a meeting with Cody and see what's going on and go from there. Well, that's not fair. Well, see, see what the issues are oh, yeah. and address the issues and go and, from uh, there. Same myself, I mean, you guys passed me by for the last five years. So, you know, the way I look at it, I might as well quit. Didn't you uh, offer to not accept a pay increase? No, I did not. Oh, I yeah. Well, during the budget meeting, you did? Yeah. No, I, yeah. I said there was no increases on the budget. I didn't say increase on yeah. I still was staying within the budget. All right. Well. All right. Well. We'll have to but because of stuff we're doing, we're doing it for less. We don't have to spend as much time there. With the, you know, the way I'm setting it up, that right. it's more on the phone for you and stuff. So you don't yeah. have to be go yeah, actually do the work. Yeah. Yeah. This is what I'm trying to get, so it doesn't cost yeah. any more money. It costs actually less in the long run. Yeah. But you guys aren't willing for the education part of it. Yes, you know, so I can say that you don't really care for the time put into it. I mean, there's a lot more time to this, and you three people don't even know how it works. Water or sewer. Okay. Uh, well, I talked to Cody today, and that's not what he said. So I think that what we need to do is have Cody come in here and you sit down in here and we have a talk. Yeah. And I think that's the way to do it. Instead of sitting here accusing us of not knowing what's going on, we don't know the sewer system and I guarantee you. But you also need to teach him how to do it too, if that's the He's, case. That's what I'm trying to get set so up. We need to have that meeting and, and sit down and talk about the situation. Anytime. Okay, let's do it. Right. You get him in here. We'll get him in here. But this is what the rates 
I came up with that with Julie and I came up with to get us roughly. Uh, <clears throat> it's hard to say because nobody realized that we were running in the red for so many years. That 15 year period we went last right. time killed us. You have this I have this, but I gotta watch this. And then I basically raised it from uh, base rate 20 bucks a year. So that if you look, we're paying now at $55 a quarter. And so I just raised the water to 60. So that's yeah. 20 bucks a year. Yeah. And then I raised, <clears throat> the best I could do with the water was to raise it, I raised it a dollar per thousand gallons. And if you look, we're averaging around 12,000 gallons per day. So I figured that would raise us roughly 43.80 extra a year. And the, the other one up above that uh, would be about 3,200. So total per year, if we figured 12,000 was about $7,500. Uh, and basically I did the same thing with sewer. Yeah. I don't think that's outrageous. I mean, I look, the sewer is unique because there's not any other places like it right. in Vermont. You take all your other towns that are the same size, they're all treatment plants. And if we had a treatment plant, you could quadruple our money. Be five times as much as it is now, at least. Mm -hmm. And the treatment plant, you could plan on rebuilding it every 25 years. You know, the way the sewer's going now, we're doing really well. And the, I went through with us. The other thing is we have no commercial rate for anybody. So that's something that you could look into. Uh, what I found was other towns, if they had two apartments or more, they're getting charged an extra hundred dollars per unit. <coughs> uh, A flat one hundred per unit. Right. Uh, and then, like your your water usage and stuff, the commercial guys are getting it for the same price as residential. Mm -hmm. It's just that they're using, using more. More. Yeah. Yeah. That's the idea. So that's. <clears throat> You know, it's all based on what you yeah. use. And the sewer is based on the water. Right. The only thing yeah. bad is would be the apartment part is you're still getting charged for that, but they're taking a free ride on the on the flat rate. You see, because like the condos down there, they all got their separate water meters, so they're all getting charged the flat rate where yeah. they could be apartments. Mm -hmm and they should be getting a free ride on three of them. But, you know, that's back. Yeah. I mean, I have decided to wait, but that's the only the other rate. thing that they were telling me that we could do is to set up some kind of thing. But the sad part is the businesses get hit for everything, for yeah. all fundraisers and stuff like that. I just, I don't know, I have a hard time trying to hit them again. But, he asked me to get it around, and that's what I got from what I called the state and talked mm -hmm. to them. Mm -hmm. And they said that's, they said we're, we're way lower than most people anyway. Our water rates are cheaper than anybody around here. I checked with Chelsea, um, Bethel. Yeah, they all got there. Oh, yeah. 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 You know, you can't compare the sewer to the, you know. Right. The only thing you compare is the water, really. Yeah, and our water system is way ahead of theirs. Right. I mean, Bethel's still right. Stone Age on their infrastructure. I mean, they're still working on it a lot. Yeah. And it's good we don't have to do much on that other than we need to start changing some hydrants right. and maybe some valves. Right. So on the rate increase that we did, um, 
couple of years back. It started, it's brought us it, up. It's brought us up a little bit, and right. it's progressing to bring us up. This is how far in the hole are we now? This, this year we will be About I'm even. thinking breaking even. Breaking even. Then. In, in as of June 30th, or well, when we get ready. Right. We we were looking at pretty close. Might be a little bit ahead. Mm -hmm. Not did, a ton. Did but. we make up? We made up what we had lost, though. Is that yeah. correct? Yeah. Right. So we were 89 so, thousand in the hole. Yeah. So we would and still we be, we'd still year. like, we're up to even now. Mm -hmm. So next year we would be a little ahead, but not a whole lot. Mm -hmm. Well, it should be close to, nothing, nothing you know. Wrong. So you're looking at. When I did my 10 year plan. Right. I figured 10 year, I took the numbers of every, you know, just guessing at what would have to get changed. Right. You know, I knew the pumps would all be changed and controls probably in the next 10 years because they're all getting, Yeah. I mean, you take the tennis courts, you know, and you're already talking, it's 20 years old. Right. So figuring, you know, rough cost, what that would be the best I can. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, I think our figures sure. would be, we would be really close if you average it out for a 10 year plan on what we're going to make. Right. And then I'm hoping like, the water system, I'm trying to get my meters, I'm having a hard time getting a replacement water meter because, I don't know, they're telling me now it's gonna be probably October before I get it today. Uh, and then I want a guy to come in and see if we could set it up so it can get done automatically. So see, that's what I'm saying, you're not gonna spend as much on, <coughs> Person isn't gonna to have to do as much. They aren't gonna to have to go in yeah. there every day. Yeah. yeah. I mean, they still should go in some, but I mean, you aren't gonna to have to go literally do, you know, the pH test and stuff right. like that. So these increases that you're talking about here, this is gonna, aside from us, we've got out of the hole and we're starting to look like it move ahead. This is gonna jump it even farther and in anticipation of these so bigger do expenses. some repairs, because we haven't so done we any don't repairs. have any to build up some, yeah. So, I mean, and I see, you still need to visit this in three years. Yeah. I think you still gotta sit down and start visiting this stuff every three years. Because, you know, you don't know what prices are gonna do. Yeah. Well, we should, we should be running a pretty good idea every year when we do the audit anyway, whether we're going getting ahead or behind. So that's going to be the indicator there, really. And then the... Well, I think now we're the, more aware of what we're... Right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And going through the operator more to know what the maintenance we need to have done to see that we have enough in the reserve to do that. Mm -hmm. Repairs. Mason, yeah. um, within this process, uh, is there uh, forward looking toward the potentials of natural disasters related to the sewer and water? No. And that should be a big part of this since well, we're witnessing it. Really, you, I mean. It's just like the town roads. I mean, how do you plan you on that? With as far as they you increase the culvert size after Irene. Right. Right. Well, well after Irene, we moved the sewer main, so it's not yeah. close to right. the, the town either. Is this the kind of information you're going to bring to the capital budget committee? Yep. Yeah. yeah, which which it should go to. Right, I, did, I mean, be, yeah. written it all out in a sheet. And so and this is probably something that we need and to prices. seriously look at it moving yeah. and going forward. Well, the big thing is we just we want to get this, and we didn't know until about now where we were standing. Right. And I want to get this in the bill of this month and start it for a September bill. Can we do that? Do that? You're going to do it for the June bill. No, no. If we put it, we can do that because that's 90 days down the road. Oh, okay. Right. That's so what we're I was asking. We're just raised. telling them what we're going to do, how much it's going to get raised. Oh, like he's going to put it. a message in this yeah. month's yeah, yeah, bill, yeah. letting them know that in September. That right. in September. It's, this will take effect in September. Well, otherwise, you got to think about a special mail, mail and them. Right. Yeah, and there's no sense in The phone's going to ring anyway. Yeah. Right. You're going to get calls yeah. on it anyway. Okay. But. So, yeah. but I really don't feel it's raising anybody too bad. No, it's pretty moderate, really. You know, if you yeah. take what it's going to raise us roughly, 
eight thousand dollars on each, but if you divide that by a hundred and sixty, uh, yeah, that tell you roughly. And the big users are going to get hit the worst with the usage. You're talking seventy, eighty dollars. Yeah, household really. Yeah, yeah it's figured yeah. twenty bucks for the flat fee, so there's not going to be another maybe yeah. twenty, thirty dollars for the other. Well. Okay. Yeah, I yep. guess yeah. Yeah, we should go ahead and yeah. put the warning in with this next bill. Yep. Yeah, because yeah, it'd be going out this week. Yeah. Right. Yeah. yeah, we should do that. Then. Yep. All right. If we're, yeah. you know. No, I think it's just something. Um, it's, it has to be done, that's all. Stuff. It just has yeah. to be done. Yeah, it just, what you, that 15 yeah. years killed us. Right. Should have been done 15 years ago. <laughs> no, or five years no, after they did it the first right. time. A gradual increase, you know, every three, four, or five years is the way things go. Yeah. You just have to do it. it. Didn't get done, so we'll do it now. Because it takes, like Julie and I talking, it takes a year or so to figure out where you're standing. Mm. Right. Usually you don't know until after the audit, <laughs> really, when you get done years in. Mm -hmm close to it, June 30th. It's a matter of knowing when it is. Who sets up the meeting with Cody and Trevor? No, we can. We? I can. Yep. Okay. It won't matter. Yep. I can do that. All right. Thanks, Terry. So we've got a, um, um, the uh, mowing contract to put out for bid and also the sidewalk plowing to put out for bid. And what we've been doing that for a, a three year period. Is that what we've been doing? Right. Yep. I think that it doesn't the sidewalk plow and have another year on it, but because of the budget budgeting schedule, we're doing it early because yeah. Just it'll get, go, get so into the following year because yeah. the contract will run out this, yeah. this budget, but it won't. Yeah. If we don't I get it in, we can't get it in we, the service. I think we need to know the answers for, for budget, budget now. Yeah. yeah, that's why we're putting this out, yeah. mm -hmm. even though it's not right. effective yeah. until yeah. Yeah. The, for the, the 25, the mowing is. 25, 26. Yeah. 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 You had a question? Yeah, I was surprised that this was on the agenda tonight because I did bring some of our newest technology and uh, with this contract after what's well, it's already been over four years since the climate emergency declaration was passed, mm -hmm. that this contract should be related to uh, non-fossil fuel equipment being used to deal with the mowing and, and weed whacking. Well, we're putting this out to bid for well, outside contractors. I that's, think we it's might a capitalist be, system, and they okay, go we, out and get the loans and get the equipment. In the last one as hmm? well. We made that a consideration in the last one as well. Okay. We didn't get any bids with anybody that had equipment that was like electric one more. Well, we need to do it again. We will the do it again. We will absolutely do it again. We have to take that into account in every decision we make. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But I don't think we're taking the step of insisting that they do that, or we may end up just um, not walking not through slush. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, Nancy? Um, relative to the sidewalks um, and plowing, mm -hmm. over on um, Park Row, right at where Nick and Amy live, yeah. there's a section that a previous flower dug up and it's kind of dangerous there. So I mean like gouge the ground around? Well the it's it's a section of probably three to four four feet maybe mm. and where there's no it's all uneven and if perhaps there were some extra something around that could at least fill it in mm. or bevel off an edge or something, the next plower might not take it up. You're talking about like topsoil type stuff? No, no, I'm talking about... Coal patch? I guess that's what it would be. Or right, so they dug up paved. It's all dug the up. Sidewalk, not the, it, the sidewalk is dug up. All right. 
I'll, I'll look at it and talk with and Dan when he's getting it's there. been that way now for a couple of years. Let's see if we can fix that. And it's likely that if we get a new flower, they might not be aware of it. Yeah. So we want to make sure then that there's, um, like I said, I don't think we can demand that we will only accept a bid from someone using electrical equipment, but we should make sure that that's, we could express our preference that they do that. Yeah. I think that that is a good idea, even if yeah. it's explained to them that there was an initiative by the voters right. to do better in that respect. I think Jeff had a yeah. had the uh, and also it's it's had the mowing, mowing guys down there at the field there a couple of years. He mm -hmm. had a yeah. demonstration down there. A bunch of guys right. tried them out, and uh, I don't know how they did or anything. They they seemed to like them. I think oh. they became. Yeah. They weren't cost effective at the time, but maybe that, that's changed and maybe some of them will. I, I don't know. Also, in the respect that it's quieter for the park than for the residents mm -hmm. around the park. Yeah. It makes the park yeah. even more appealing. So there's that benefit to be looking yeah, at. No, in that's, I, I understand that. Yeah. yeah. So Thank we'll you. make sure that the contract um, reflects our preference for that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah, and spread it out. So. Encourage. Encourage. Encourage yeah. it. Yeah, encourage it. All right, so we'll um, fine tune those and, and distribute those to interested parties and put, a, put an ad in the paper soliciting bids. I know that um, um, Mike Ketchum from Music Mountain um, um, mentioned to me the other week or so that he'd like to know when this bid goes out. So she. Someone him to express an interest. Yeah. 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 Right, uh, They're doing a good job this year. Yeah. I think yeah. he's hired. I don't know who it is. I think it's. Uh, uh, yeah. What he's doing. Hancock there, isn't it? Uh, not sure. Even on a sewer site, he's doing a good yeah. job. Yeah. Good. Good. Um, all right, next on the agenda, we've got a certification certification of compliance for the upcoming FEMA work, which is, that's um, culvert work, or what is that, still hanging out there from? I hope so. Yeah, yeah. it's for the mitigation work up by Mike Holmes that we've been okay, working that on. Yep. Yeah. That one's still patched together after Irene, right? Yeah. yeah. Yep. There's, we got a lot coming up on that project. Yeah. <clears throat> It's that one that washed out there during the last storm last year. All right, so I'd um, move to sign this certificate of compliance for town road and bridge standards. And Second. Network inventory. All in favor? Aye. All right. All right. Okay. All also have an agreement here with Two Rivers out of Quiche Regional Commission for the local hazard mitigation plan. And um, that we went through and we received a few, different, a few different bids on that and we um, and decided to go with them. So I moved to um, sign that contract. Martha, do you have something to say? Yeah, didn't you skip something underneath, uh, be, right above that? It says sign the F25, FY25 pay, crease, increase, pay rates. We, Kristen added it, and then I added it. We, um, that was a, a duplicate of something we already did. Okay, so we just I'll just cross that out then. I'm sorry. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. Okay, that's what I did. Yeah. Cool. All right, so... Um, this was the $9,000? Yeah, yeah, something that's quite, yeah. Because if we don't have a proper plan, we don't get much backup yeah. from FEMA. Or, yeah. <clears throat> All right, um, Mason, you already um, um, started with the continued discussion about initiatives, with uh, talking about the um, 
the mowing, um, electrical. It kind of happened that way, didn't it? <laughs> yeah, it did kind of happen that way. Is there anything else that you want? Well, to? actually, it was a little more. I, I was thinking that I'd have two different opportunities here. Um, one was uh, uh, back when we had the discussions, uh, an ongoing discussion about, you know, how the, the town report should look related to the late the the most recent initiative that was passed by the town. Yeah, did you come up with a draft? Uh, not yet, and I wasn't, I, I did say that I was probably not the right person no. in this town but to do it's that. Your, but okay. it's your initiative, okay. it's your but, initiative. No, I, no I, what are you talking about? I voted on the initiative. Right, but it's your initiative that's, that's asking for this to be... Um, well, I want to go back to the, to just real quick on... on um, the, the delinquent tax issue because that relates. I, you know, I've been rereading the initiative and I think it's it's good to revisit it a few times and get a feel for it. But um, in the last discussions, one of the, you know we were discussing and one of the things that was related to me was that um, there was a good process to deal with people who were delinquent within the town and that it doesn't hurt anyone to be doing this. Well, hold, hold, I discovered that an individual around the time of Irene, I think the year before, and we could go dig up the minutes of the library trustees, but a, uh, a paid job at the library, the individual was turned down because they were on the delinquent tax rolls. So that kind of relates to the initiative now. The past is the past, but we, we really got to understand the history of how these things happen to certain people. And, and uh, so I'm not going to mention that person, but like I say, if it's something that you really want to dig into, we could be looking at minutes from that time period and, and see if that was actually recorded as a denial because of being on the tax delinquent roll. We don't is that hire a policy? people for the library. Hmm? We don't hire people for the library. The library No, I understand that. Them. I didn't say that, but it's a town function that was, you know, is, is that something the select board should be relating to the trustees of the library to say you, you sh that's not a good criteria for a job application. We don't have any jurisdiction over the trustees of the library. I didn't say you had a jurisdiction. I'm saying, but we just passed this initiative. I realize so, that, but that's their initiative too. So they need, well, if you want to address the library, you need to address their trustees on how they handle themselves because we don't. Well, we don't yes, deal I'm with just that saying reason. that from our discussions before, it was kind of put out there that we had an understanding that no one was actually ever hurt from this process. And this is something that came to my attention. And so it's out there. I mean, that individual is no longer living in this community any longer either. So, yeah. So anyhow, I just want to put that out there. Um, I wasn't trying to rile, rile any <laughs> upsetness or anything here. I'm just This is just something that there. Um, and in talking about, you know, revenue, this issue with revenue and, and the town report costing X amount, how we can't do it. Well, one good source of potential revenue is actually starting to ticket folks for idling their cars. It's a state law and uh, it relates to our climate emergency declaration. And uh, I think you have a copy on the table there of a sign that uh, refers to the state law. And uh, it could be a situation, well, we already do pay the constable for speeding tickets as such. It's a, to enforce state law. So, you know, it's a good way to get out of the car once in a while, get some exercise, and turn off his car from idling. <laughs> so, you know, what is our policy as a town on the idling issue? And in that, you know, whatever one says, it, this AARP right now, an incredible article on flooding issues for elderly people and what it means state, uh, nationwide. But as we all see in the last, since Thursday, we had just had over three inches of rain and it's only the beginning of this season. And the way the wind was blowing, it sure looks like it was coming, moving right up the coast. And how long is that going to be? So if it's related to fossil fuel burning, what is our policy in this town? 
Should we have no idling signs placed in uh, locations? Does the state provide those signs? Should we have our constable provide a warning that is an educational type informational flyer? And if you consciously start looking around town in the morning, different times of the day, the idling is phenomenal. People sitting, eat, having their ice cream cones with windows rolled up, <laughs> you know, idling. <laughs> You know, now get out of the car and go across to the park and sit down and enjoy your ice cream. Or so many folks who they're running their computers and windows up doing, doing their office work with their computers, running the car. It just seems like everyone feels okay that they personally do it. And so how do we feel as a community to deal with it? So it's a revenue source. It may help with covering the cost of uh, the town report. Would you like to enforce it? Hmm? Would you like to enforce it? I don't think it's that difficult to reinforce. You consider you get a traffic ticket. <laughs> if it's so a state law, is, is that what, what we want our constable to do our, as part of his job once in a while to get out of the car? And for that, isn't it? It's no. the sheriff, not it's the car. Sheriff. Okay. Sheriff. 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 I mean, we could probably ask him to do it, but yeah. that's up to you guys. Um, uh, like many things, I think it's easier said than done, but it's good to talk about it and raise the awareness of it. I don't, I don't um, I know about plastering the town with no idling signs and some, but the um, hey, knock on people's windows and <laughs> get in a fight now and then. What the heck? You know? <laughs> yeah, you want to do that. I don't think yeah. it's that. You know, well, you'd be surprised how how offended people can get when we go and start calling them on stuff like that. Well, yeah. it's going to be yeah. quite a surprise yeah. the next time we get slammed with a big Irene oh, yeah. Yeah. with yeah. with not only a, yeah. a hurricane that dies, yeah. but one that actually keeps on moving through the yeah. state. Yeah. And right now we're looking at a, a high percentage, and the way it's looking already. Yeah. I mean, so when do we so, start? Yeah. It, educationally wise, is if this is an educational tool to help save our cost of the community, if you know, there are many communities within this, the United States who have been hit so hard that they do have a green policy in rebuilding their communities and how they move forward. Okay. And so okay. we're just looking at trying to prevent this by education, but. I would hope that between the, th the three of you that you take note of idling in town. Well, I certainly don't idle my rig in town if I don't have to. No. That's the, yeah. <laughs> when I get out of it, it's shut yeah. off, usually. Yeah. <laughs> I don't leave it running. Yeah. I don't want the dog to drive away. <laughs> All right, well, thanks for bringing it up and-, and um, okay. Write some letters and, put and in then, the paper too. And then the other one I just wanted to follow up was uh, at the special meeting. I was suggesting that November fifth be the appropriate time for the school um, vote for purchasing the building to save cost for one, and also have the largest number of voters available to vote. And this being a situation where we don't have a small turnout, and then. If it happened to be a no vote, then all of a sudden we have to have another vote because it's not the yes vote. Uh, we've seen many times in other type of voting situation, it winds up we have three votes just to make sure we get a yes vote. But if we get the population on November 5th to vote on this issue, it's pretty well final in the vote. And I think it would save money uh, in, the, in the voting. So I think that's very important. And uh, I hope that the next public meeting for informing yeah, no residents been, will be at Pierce Hall. And no date has been set yet for the vote, but that's, um, that's a good, good suggestion, and we'll consider that. And thank you very much. Yeah. Oh, I would like to leave this article with you from AARP. Yeah. I have it. You I have it ready? I get it that at home. We're all. <laughs> I know. Isn't that hilarious? <laughs> it's just hilarious. But when you search. Most you know, people in this room get it too. <laughs> you don't. Thank you. I don't. Would you like to have a copy? <laughs> it will creep up on you. I'm reading a really good book right now. <laughs> all right. Um,
Thank you. Thank you. So um, uh, next on the agenda, we've got a letter from the Vermont Department of Taxes notifying the town to reappraise education grand list properties, which we kind of knew we were doing anyway, but they want um, they want um, official signatures saying that we understand we have to do it. Acknowledgement. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So there's not a spot on here to sign. They just want us to sign on here. Yeah. Indeed. Yeah. Might as well get all of us on there. Um, <clears throat> okay, so we had, um, we're going to proof these. Uh, we had new permits and applications with um, updated fees for. Um, you know, plat application fees, um, town use of the parks, um, you know, the um, you know, um, zoning and, and building permits. And so this, um, there is still, um, yeah, um, Kristen, you did a bunch of work on these and cleaned yep. them up. Yep. Yeah, so I, yeah. I redid all of them. The ones on the top yeah. that say draft are the ones that I typed, and then yeah. paper clipped are the old ones on the back for just for reference okay. um, yeah. to go through everything. But yeah. yeah. No, I think we all agreed that these were all pretty um, reasonable steps forward without being um, usury. And it all has the new pricing that was in yeah. the town yeah. report. Yeah. In the town report. <laughs> With yeah. the planning and zoning, if there's uh, language that needs to be updated in some of them because they were older, but um, and that we could probably just present to them as well. And yeah, yeah and should planning and zoning look those over? Yeah, yeah. yeah. as well. I as would love as many eyes yeah. as I can yeah. get. All right, so um, but we want to put them into into place before the first, right? Yeah, they sh should be if yeah, we can. Into the next, yeah, yeah, yeah. So I mean, the ones that I think we could. We could prove it as a board here, but then you know also um, you know, give it to um, the planning board just to see if they have any. You want me to it. email a draft well, to the planning board? Yeah, that's yeah. what I would do. Yeah, I think because we're running out of time okay. before right. the first year. Well, they're they're going to affect July first anyway. Right, right. right. And that, was the the that was in yeah. the budget. Yeah, that was in the budget yeah. that we passed. So it was. So I don't see any issue yeah. with popping them an know, email popping them out there okay. and just make sure that the zoning is fine with what what the application is. And okay. Yeah. Yep. Thank you. So I um, move to uh, approve these and um, with the possibility of any fine tuning to be suggested by the, okay. the other Second. All in favor? Aye. All right. All right. We've got um, nobody's here from the library. Um, the highways, uh, I think, Terry, you already talked enough about utilities for today, or do you want to talk more? Yeah, I mean. We covered that pretty good, I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, is um, Jeff on Zoom? No. No, no. Any grant updates, Kristen? Um, just minimal. I submitted the Rogers Book Brook reimbursement on Friday. Um, the total cost of our project was 33000 233. Um, our portion of it is 6647 So we should see a reimbursement of 26586 within the next couple weeks. And um, he's working on his grant and aid right now up on West Hill. All That's right. it. Thank you. Mm -hmm. um, John, did you have anything that you wanted to? Uh, I have two things. I was just wondering how the committee was doing on the issues for the dog around here. Um, we even talked before about that. I don't know if that's that continued. Does that dog come back? No, 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 no. But there was a committee that was going to work on figuring out how to get our ordinances and stuff like that to be more work more yeah. sufficient. Just wondering how that went. And I then think VLCT has just sent something new too. Yeah. Okay. New stuff coming in quite regularly. Yeah, I, I read something in the newspaper about a department actually for animal rights or something like that was being created as well. Mm -hmm. um, so I don't know if that was part of this too or not, but I'm just curious how that was going. Animal rights, 
And then the other thing is uh, over the weekend we had an issue at a place and I actually have brought a coin for our fire department here in Rochester. Uh, they did an excellent job. So I would like to uh, give this to the fire department. Thank, thank you, you very much. Thank really you. nice, thank you. And that's all I have. Thank you. That's awesome. Thank, thank you. you. Yeah. Yeah. No, I think I uh, heard high praise for how they handled the scene. Not an easy situation. No. Um, we got um, anybody else that, um, anybody on Zoom that wants to? Nope. Catherine talk? was dialed in for a while and then she yep. went away. Yep. I think she's um, coming Walking down, in the door. Probably walking in the door. Yeah. So, um, and that, I guess I conclude this, um, this part of the meeting and then we're going to um, move into Sorry. executive session.